Yeah, that's good right there. Okay, hold it. Good job. All right, thanks, Chad. Hey there, it's me, Dave. You may have noticed that I'm always wearing this PPE when I'm in the yard. Sure, it can be uncomfortable and a pain in the ass sometimes, but we really need to use all this stuff to protect ourselves. It's our company policy, and it's the law too. So pay attention while we talk about personal protective equipment. It could save your life. In our line of work, we have exposures to hazards every day that we need to think about. Someone in our company did a hazard assessment of all the things that could hurt someone in our yard. Now, Johnny's uncanny ability to pass wind of chemical warfare quality was not included. But that's how they came up with the list of PPE that we always need to use. And us drivers have the potential for exposure to even more hazards at our customer sites. So we need to make some good safety decisions every day. Let's start from the top. Head protection. OSHA requires that anywhere there is an exposure to a potential impact to the head, we need to use proper head protection. And most commonly, that would be the hard hat. Since I'm not in an area where there is any overhead exposure, I'll take this thing off and explain it to you. This might seem like overkill to give you training on how to use a hard hat, but you'd be surprised at how often hard hats are improperly used or not inspected. Trust me, I wouldn't be wasting your, or more importantly, my time otherwise. So, hard hats are a two-piece safety system that include the outer shell and the internal suspension. They're designed and tested to be used together. The shell provides the impact and penetration protection, while the suspension actually transfers and evens out the load, like the air ride in your truck. The shell and suspension both require inspection before every use, and I'm the only guy I know who does that like they should. If you find cracks in the shell or burns or cuts, it's time to trade this hard hat out for a new one. Don't paint on the hard hat either or put stickers on it. You might cover up a crack, and the hard hat could be compromised without your knowing it. There's no such thing as a partially damaged hard hat. It's either whole or it's junk. If yours is damaged in any way, get rid of it and get a new one. And another thing, the hard hat and suspension need to have this empty space between so it'll work properly. So don't store your gloves, cigarettes, sandwiches, or your favorite 18th century love sonnets in there. Make sure you adjust the suspension to fit your head too. They're designed to be adjustable. Make it snug, but not too tight. I have that problem with my leotards. <laughs> Second, if your yard is like ours, hey, look out!